Now let us look at a cantilever with a UDL. So this is how it looks like. You have a cantilever with a UDL of W Newtons per meter. The length of this cantilever is L. I have drawn the projections. So that and we will draw the SFD and BMD just below this uh, beam span only. The total load, the total load is equal to W into L. And this acts at the mid span, which is W into L, acting at L by 2 from either side. Now let us again suppose a section capital XX at a distance of small x from B. For this much length, what is the load? That is W into X. Okay, and that W into X is acting at the mid span of this much length that is X by 2. So this is W into X and it acts at X by 2 from either the section XX or 2 from the point B. Okay, so what is the bending moment at point XX? It will be minus WX into X by 2, isn't it? So, this will become minus x square by 2 which shows a parabolic variation of the bending moment. So, this would be 0, but obviously because bending moment at B where x is equal to 0 is 0, but what would be the bending moment at A where x is equal to? L it will be equal to minus WL square by 2. So, we will write down this will be a curved line. So, this is minus WL square by 2, this is point A and this is point B and this is how the bending moment is varying as per a parabolic curve. So, this is a parabolic BMD. Okay. Now let us find out the SFD. The shearing force at the section is how much? Minus W X which shows a linear relationship between the load and the distance. What would be the shearing force at point B? It will be 0 and the shearing force at A it will be minus W L. So, if this is point A and this is point B, at B it is 0, at A it is WL. So, this is how it will go, a straight line. Okay, so this is minus WL and this is the sharing force diagram. So, this is how you draw the SFD and BMD for a cantilever with a UDL. Now let us move to the cantilever beam with a gradually varying load.